Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. This is just a quick video to show you a few things I picked up at the flea market this weekend. This is an ideal Tony doll wearing her original dress. The dress is really yellowed, but I don't think it can be washed without the red running. Her head fell off as soon as I got her home, so I had to restring her. Her hair is very dark brown, almost black. TV Comic Annual is a children's book from the UK. There's no date on it, but I found it on Amazon with the date of 1954. This is the kind of thing I would have loved as a kid. It has stories and poems, comics, games, educational pages, all kinds of stuff. If it only had a paper doll, it would be perfect. This little sweetie is a composition doll by Averill Manufacturing. He would have originally been sold in a felt costume. I love his cute face. I also picked up some wooden dollhouse furniture from the 1940s. These pieces are by Strombecker and went to their cardboard dream house. Here's the bathroom. Somebody didn't wipe out the tub after they were done. In the kitchen, the small white thing looks like an end table, but it's meant to be an apartment-sized stove. And here's the bedroom. Somebody added the linen and made an end table out of a thread spool. In the dining room, I didn't get the living room pieces that went with the set. I also got another Strombecker dining room set. This one has a larger table and a buffet. This living room set was made by Rappaport Brothers and sold under their Nancy Forbes trade name. Check out the radio and the cool end table. In the same box with the furniture were these dollhouse sized velveteen rugs. These were given away with boxes of cigars. This one is stamped Egyptian Straits, Factory Number 2153, 3rd District, New York. For some reason, these are called felts, even though they aren't made of felt. Also got this cool little guy made of wire and wooden beads. The Little Chap family, well, three quarters of it anyway, they were made by Remco in the mid-1960s. This is Judy Little Chap, wearing her cotton PJs. I didn't get her sister Libby. Here's the dad, Dr. John Little Chap, also ready for bed. And this is the mom, Lisa Little Chap, in her red nightgown. Lisa's hair was originally piled high on her head, with a plastic bowl-shaped piece as a foundation. That's always missing in Played With Dolls. I already have John and Judy, but these are in better shape, so I'll keep these and sell the other ones. I got a bunch of game boards. These are not vintage, they're reproductions, but I didn't mind because they were very inexpensive. Notice how Parcheesi is spelled on this one. Different from how we usually see it now. There's a copyright date of 1945 from the original game board. A nice checkers or chess board. These are great to just hang on the wall. I love the vibrant color on this backgammon board. This may have been the other side of the checkerboard originally. A few of these have multiple games on one board. There's one here called Fish Pond, but not sure what the other two are supposed to be. I'm pretty sure this was originally a two-sided game board. And this would have been the other side. Dog Race was originally issued by Transogram as a separate game. This board is dated 1938 and also has shuffleboard, baseball, and a bowling game called Alley Up. This was definitely a two-sided board, because I found an original one on Etsy. 
Between the two sides, you could play 14 different games. This side has Goosey Gander, baseball, and a football game. Around the edges of those is some kind of golf game, and then the outer border is something else with numbers and owls in the corners. Wish I had the instructions to play them. At the bottom of the board, it says Designed and Drawn by W, P, and B, Keysby. On the other side is a very cool design with four cities, one in each corner, New York, Paris, Bombay, and Tokyo spelled with an I. These are so beautiful and colorful. Thanks for joining me today. Are you getting out to flea markets and yard sales? If so, leave me a comment and tell me what you found. If you want to be notified when I have new videos posted, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. See you next time.